Is there anything you're particularly worried about today? I'm a little bit worried that we're not that organised um, and there's a lot of boxes to move, so I'm just hoping we'll get in there by the end of the day um, and that everything will fit into the new property. <laughs> that's, that's my biggest challenge for the day. What do you perceive as the challenge for today's move? To actually settle Jenny in, she's very worried about her new place not being big enough, so I want to um, get her in there and, and settle her down as quickly as possible so she can relax. She's worried that, that all her boxes won't fit in. Do you think that'll be a problem? Um, I don't think it'll be a problem. Many things we can do, we can stack boxes up in, in one room, in one corner where they're not in the way. It's supposed to be one of the most stressful things you can do to move. Isn't it stressful for you? I mean, you're going through this whole process every working day of your life. Yeah, customer, I, f I find that's my biggest challenge with the job is to settle people down and give them confidence. How do you settle people down? Just by giving them reassurance, giving them confidence in, in our ability. Do good work. Once they see that, the rest is easy. I feel really relieved it's all over. Um, it was a big move, ended up three trucks and they had to call some more removalist men in to actually finish the job before the sun went down. There was a lot more than we'd expected to move. In the end they actually filled the three trucks and there was still our fridge and our plasma screen to move so they actually physically moved it down the street themselves. So they brought it down on trolleys. Oh, it was incredible, I couldn't believe my eyes when I looked out the window and saw Mark and the team rolling the fridge and the TV down the street. Your big worry this morning was you had so many boxes. So far so good, everything's fitted in. Big thanks to Mark, he realised it was a much bigger job than we'd originally anticipated so he called on another team to come and help us so in the end there was seven men. And Mark was quite conscious of the fact that we had two children and we needed the bed set up for the night and the main things were in the house so it was fantastic.